Hello, good morning. Another thought for the day. Have you ever thought, why are Filipina who go overseas, or Filipino, who go overseas so highly sought after? I suppose the answer to that is that they're caring, considerate, and also hardworking. Because, first of all, to be able to get a job overseas, they have to come from a base that has a reputation of being hard workers, ones that maybe don't answer back and also just get on with their work. We see that regularly when we employ locals here. When we ask somebody, we have a lady who comes most weekends to take the load off Jane to do the washing when I say the washing the clothes washing and therefore I have a little bit of experience observing how hard working they really are I mean if any lady out there has ever done their washing or a man tried to do his washing for himself it's an arduous job it's not a enjoyable job really and it's quite hard work in many cases when you have big loads so I suppose people overseas that employ Filipinas understand that the majority of them have come from a background where they look after and learn within the home to look after their parents often looking after their siblings in a sort of a from the youngest up to the eldest and of course the parents will try and get as many of their children into a good form of education at least to college level and preferably to uni and because of that they're not dumb they are smart they think out things, but at the end of the day, they think Filipina. And no matter how good the education is, they always come back to the way they've been brought up. And the way they put together ideas is a Filipino way, which is very foreign to a Western mindset. For instance, we have a group of people that we won't talk about who come over here and just want to get, excuse the expression, pissed every day. They come with enough money, usually, hopefully, to spend two, three, four, maybe even a few months. Just on the piss, every day, virtually from waking up till the time they go to bed because that's been their life back home in their own country. Now you have to ask yourself, are they really the right kind of people to have here? You go to Spain, you see all the little piss heads coming over there every summer and they get themselves into trouble, they get arrested, bad behavior, disorderly conduct, all of these things. And of course, here in the Philippines, Westerners are seen as a cash cow. And therefore, the police at the last resort, unless there's really something major going on, are reluctant to push the point, which is great for a foreigner. But they do have to uphold the law. If you offend a Filipina, don't think that just because you're a foreigner with money you're going to buy your way out of problems because it just doesn't happen here. You will get ticked off by a senior officer, you may even get arrested and therefore you have to remember you're a guest in the country here in the Philippines regardless of what pension you are on and whatever visa you're using. Just remember that you are an ambassador for your own country. 
The American Embassy will be able to tell you there's been a lot of people being confronted by authorities here from America and many are running out of money. Why? Why you ask? Well, if they can't manage their life in America and they find it difficult in Australia and they come over here, you're going to find the same thing here because what do they say? A leopard never changes its spots. And I'm afraid that if you come with the mindset of, dare I say, hooliganism, uh, car rage, short temper, impatience, rudeness, then you won't survive here in the Philippines because you're going to run foul of either the barangay captain who will maybe try and get you persona non grata. Now that is a very common uh, law that applies here in the Philippines. If you have become a nuisance and you have become someone they do not want in their barangay, they can announce to the person that you are no longer welcome here. Persona non grata. Now if you have that against your name, you may well find that when you leave, you might not be allowed back in. And so you have to really remember the way you behave here in the Philippines is important. In fact, beyond medical, beyond money, if you act like a dickhead, like I might describe some, if you brag about all your things and get yourself into trouble, then you're just asking for trouble. Um, here in the Philippines, if you come to retire, most Americans, most Australians, and most people from anywhere else keep a low profile. Don't announce that you are a dickhead to the world because they will see it anyway, just the way you treat the women. And if you treat the women badly, you're in big trouble. Because one thing the Philippine government wants to maintain is protection of their population of ladies here. They're very, very strong on your behavior towards your woman and it doesn't matter how much you sweet talk your try and sweet talk your way out of it if you've done wrong to a filipino woman look out because that's where the problem starts philippines is not a paradise for you anymore i'm afraid you're not welcome so Think about the way you behave when you come here to the Philippines. There's nothing wrong with meeting up with your friends and acquaintances and having a nice cold drink and a bit of food. They always say have food and drink is much better than just drink alone. But a lot of you guys just go over the top. You get drunk and there's nothing worse than trying to talk with a drunk. Many think it's okay to be like that. They even brag about oh I used to have a bar I used to do this well okay fine in your own country but not that welcome here if that kind of mindset where you have no respect for women and you just think you can run your way through a long list of women it might make you feel gratified but I can tell you now you're getting a black mark against yourself so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, please. And don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And just leaving yourself subscribed, you might find one or two of the videos helpful to your own mindset and your own exploring of what it's going to be like to live or to retire here in the Philippines. Bye now.